My name is Shannon Horner. I'm from uh, Capture Equipment. I'm uh, here to show you how to load three different types of syringes we have. I want to show you how to load our Aereo syringe. You load it differently for the 1951 uh, stainless. You want to take the uh, hand syringe, go through your needle, take your mess and fill it all the way up. Always make sure it is completely full. Take your red needle cap, put it over the needle. This always stays on. Take a hand syringe, draw it up. You want to pump some air into the back of the tailpiece. You'll start feeling resistance. When you have resistance, you've got enough air in it. Take your yellow cap insert it into the back of the syringe and you're good to go okay in a co2 gun you do not have to pump this syringe up you just put your medicine in put your needle cap on load into the projector and you do not use the yellow cap the syringe on my left is a cartridge syringe loaded a syringe loaded for a cartridge fired rifle the one on the right is for a co2 you can see the difference between them. One has a cap in the end and one does not. The one with the cap is for a cartridge fired rifle and the one without it is for a CO2 fired projector. They all need the red needle cap to stay on. The red needle cap is so that it doesn't disperse any of the medicine until it penetrates the animal. It'll slide back down the needle inside the hub. Right, these are our rubber plungers, and this is seal glide, our uh, lubricating compound. You want to take the cap off, and we put we squirt some down inside a baggie with your syringes. You want to take, close up your baggie, move your rubber plungers near it, and just kind of move them around and lube them all up. Um, you want to have them all lubed up so they're ready to be inserted in the syringe so that once you place them in the syringe you can push them back and forth and lube the syringe up so it'll move freely down through the syringe. These are the three type of uh, charges we carry. Yellow is for the one to uh, three cc syringes. The, the orange is for the four to ten cc syringes and the reds are for the uh, 15 to 20 cc syringes. This is a charge. You want to load it in your rubber plunger with the firing pin facing out. You can see the firing pin. You can press on it and see that it pushes down. This is a power load. This is what actually projects the syringe out of a cartridge fired projector. This the capture charge is what disperses the medicine out of the syringe. I want to show you our uh, reusable syringes. Uh, I'll show you how to load one. We offer them in a, from a half cc all the way to a 20 cc syringe barrel. This is a three. You want to take your rubber plungers that you've already lubed, take them, place it in the syringe and I'm going to need something. Take your uh, positioner, take, put your th thumb over the end of the syringe and you want to run it back and forth through the syringe all the way to the threads to make sure it's lubed properly. I'm going to do it a couple of times. And once you feel it is lubed properly, push it back with the hole facing you. Take your capture charge Hold it into place. Put your capture charge with the firing pin facing out. Take your tailpiece, push your charge down in, thread your tailpiece on. Take your syringe. You want to fill all the way to the threads. Make sure it is full. Once it's loaded, 
take your needle screw it on you just want it snug not real tight just till you feel the o-rings engaged and now it's loaded it will not leak it's ready to go I want to show you how to load our air inject syringe and take your rubber plunger once your syringe is lubed and your plunger is lubed you want to play it, place a spacer in the rear push it down take your air inject tailpiece screw it down on it will be nice and snug take your syringe and fill it up all the way to the thread always make sure it is full take your needle screw it down on the syringe make sure it's nice and sealed take a needle cap place it over your needle take a hand syringe and draw up some air insert it in the back of the tailpiece you'll feel you have enough pumped into it when you can start feeling resistance see I have enough in it take Take your tailpiece in cap, place it in, and you're ready to fire. This is a air inject tailpiece, and you place your in cap in your tailpiece for on, for your cartridge fired projectors only. I'm going to demonstrate firing a cartridge fired projector. <laughs> 